When we were in grade school, we used to send out to all of our friends, all of our classmates, Valentine's card. And we would get back those cards. And what a joy that day would be. You remember the little candy hearts with the little sayings on it? On this Valentine's Day, as a mature spiritual person, you decide to go the extra mile, to become love wherever you are. Love is the Ph.D. of spirituality. It is truly something that we master last. It seems like we can do all the other things. We can, we can pray aright. We can uh, go to church. But the bottom line of spirituality is simply how loving are we? Yeah, I've often said that is the test for any ministry. If you go into a ministry, you ask, how loving is this ministry? That is the bottom line of all of spiritual life. And so, today, you decide that the buck stops here. I'm not going to pass this on to another time. I'm going to use this dedicated time in my life to becoming as loving as I can possibly be. And then, as loving as I can possibly be, I consent to the full love of God coming through me as me, and therefore lifting me to a new plane of spiritual consciousness and ability to be love wherever I am. I pray today that you are equipped with this, that you are literally touched by God. And what better Valentine gift to accept than this? And then with any of God's gifts, we can't just accept the gift. We have to use the gift and then give the gift away to bless others. And so today... On this Valentine's Day, that is exactly what you decide to do. You decide to become the best woman, the best man that you have ever been in your lifetime by letting go of old grudges, by forgiving, by becoming a new person in Christ and expressing that wherever you go to those that you know, to co-workers, to even the disagreeable people in your life, to strangers. You are a valentine to your world, and the world needs it more than anything else, and you agree to fill that need.